Hi, I'm Natasha Lockhart. We are cruising into a new year and we can't wait. I'm Stacy Beck. We'll learn about a fitness clothing line that just might motivate you to keep working out. And I'm Angie Murphy. We'll talk about a spa that has a long list of services to help you look your best. And we'll learn about some new innovations in the oral health world. All this and more on Studio Chatter. Welcome to Studio Chatter. We said this about 2020, and now we are saying the same about 2021. We're glad it's <laughs> over. <laughs> are you ready for a new year? I don't know if I'm glad it's over. Right, I think it was a transitional year. Like, I think we thought, right? Like, 2020 was rough. Yes. And then I think we thought 2021 would just be the fix it. And, and it wasn't it, all the way, no. but it was a lot better. Tons it, better. I thought it was a good year, though, mm -hmm. overall. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I was intentional about things because after 2020, you have you to have go to into be. just being like, hey, if I want a 50th birthday, by darn, I'm planning my 50th birthday and party because so I want to celebrate. So proud that you did celebrate. So things. it was the opposite. So 2020 was like sloth year. Like yes, you kind of just yes. got to stay in hibernation yes. and like kind of not do anything. This year we had to shop again because it, it was the makeup year. Yes. All my makeup ran out. I totally yep. had to buy everything well, new. And I just mean like makeup, makeup yes. for everything. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And it was Parties like, back on, like, everything. It was the, yes, making up for yeah. everything that you didn't get to do before. And not completely, but there was a lot of hustle. There was yes, a lot true. of hustle And maybe because we've been so slothish, <laughs> <laughs> the hustle felt even more intense, yes, right? Yeah, we weren't quite ready to yeah. jump all the way back But 2021, in. I think, was good. We had we got a new set. We sure did. Mm -hmm. it's we fabulous. did. It's fabulous. Awesome. Beautiful. We yeah. celebrated our five years. Yep. Five-year anniversary. Lucky to be here. That was Which fun. That was yeah. fun. We had a lot of fun guests. We had a party. We had a party, a big party. We had party. a great party. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. had a lot of guests back. We had a lot of new people, but yep. some, some really good I know our town is growing, and so yeah. we have more stories, more businesses. I can't wait to maybe 2022 dive into more of our local stories. And, I know. We need to convince yeah. our viewers. like To come and share just yeah. their life. We're going to yeah. reach out to these people in their mm -hmm. homes watching us. Mm -hmm. Come share literally. a little piece of their yeah. Spanish Fork love. Yep. Yeah, it's fun. Yep. So we're going into a new year. So let's before we go into the new year, how was your Christmas? It was Mine was good. It really was good, but I had to have a tooth extracted <laughs> right before. And guys, it was a rough week. <laughs> I was in pain. I couldn't really uh, eat the holiday foods. That's horrible it right there. It was there, horrible. A lot of holiday foods you only get once a year. You do. And like Rhett's family does a big filet mignon meal. Oh, man. I, I had mashed potatoes oh. and like jello. Oh, it was kind of I'm sorry. It was dampening a little bit, but... Wow. I mean, the family around, holiday still happened. We took our whole family. We hosted, my daughter hosted our Polar Express with my side of the family. It's like our yes. Christmas. And we ended up getting a trailer with hay and went through the Spanish Fork Lights. Okay. And it was on that Sunday that was so windy. And my oh. whole family is just like oh, hunkered man. down on the trailer. But still, it was such a fun memory. We've had some major wind yeah, storms we this have. December. Mm -hmm. We have, guys. Wow. Yeah. And then how well. was your Christmas? It was fantastic. So grandma and grandpa, they were home this year. Okay. So yeah. they got to come and stay with us. We also went to the light parade. So we always do that the, the night Festival before. Festival of Lights. Festival of Lights, yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, the only downside to that was I think that the storm came on both sides, but kind of missed us in the middle for the actual snow. So the, the lights so was, were amazing. And but it was I mean, just that was always grass. fun. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that was. It is more magical when you go. And in, the in the snow. snow. I agree. So we might hit it again before it goes should. away completely. Yeah. Between Christmas and New Year's, we took our family as part of their Christmas gift over to Thanksgiving Point to Luminaria. Oh, you did. And the, we're in the parking lot, getting out of the car, and the whole parking lot's phones go off in the Amber Alert for oh. winter storm warning. Oh, the squall. <laughs> but nothing <laughs> yes. was there. So, and you know, we're just loading up and we get in there. And right when we go through, I mean, within five minutes, you know, light flurries. Uh -huh. And then five hit. minutes later, I mean, sideways <gasps> wind. <we're> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's cold. We maybe got a third of the way, maybe. Oh, oh wow. And then we had two littles, and it's just when hard. you're out in it, 
And it's cold. Once you're like in the car and you're driving in it, you're like, how were we walking right. out there in this? Right. But you just but, persevere because yeah, you wanted to I do had it so bad. Scarf. <laughs> it, was, it was cold. But, oh, darn it. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. memories. Yep. Good memories. I yeah. do love some through. of that new lingo. The, uh -huh. the squall. Uh huh. The, the new winter squall. The winter squall. squall. Oh. Yes. Yeah. They've been crazy. talking about it on the radio today. <laughs> oh, yeah. well. Nerd. But it was great. Yes, Santa definitely made a stop. So we're we're still cleaning up from that. Yes, definitely. It it takes a little while to do that. So uh, leading up to Christmas, though, there were, were a couple of things that did happen. So yes. so you had your favorite things party. Yes. <laughs> which I had to miss because of the your silly tooth. Because of the darn tooth, <laughs> yeah. right? But that was so much fun. That was fun. I think women love I think we opening do that. gifts all Just the time. Like, right? We were just like giddy just to open gifts that you don't even, you need, but you don't even know you want. Because usually and we're buying our own gifts. Let's be honest. Yes. Or like telling our we people, are. like, this is exactly yeah. what so I people, need. Yes. Uh -huh. We're excited. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's, well, it is that because you are usually wrapping your own gifts. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of women just like, it's the anticipation, like, of, of adults like getting yeah. together like and pampered a little bit, a little and, bit of pampering yes, yeah. and just being able to chat amongst yourself and mm -hmm. and maybe just catching up to what's new in in women's world I agree because yeah. there were several things mm -hmm. that I was just like what is that like someone gave their favorite MAC lipstick their color that she always gets compliments on mm -hmm. but then the perk Mm -hmm. Energy. Yeah, so perk energy, lip color, shockets, car um, hat, like um, the the waffle maker. Yeah. So anything that's maybe hot in um, like the beauty industry True. or in the fashion industry that's, or in just, nutrition or anything. So that was super fun. It was fun. And it was even some friends that we have met here on Studio Chatter, but we're sad that you didn't make it. I'm so sad. And then <laughs> Natasha had an incident. I, oh. Why is it always me? Like, I, I feel like I, there's always something quirky with me. <laughs> so um, I get a little message like later on that night. So what time did the party end? Like, I don't know, like maybe nine or something. Nine thirty, okay. yeah. Something like that. So of course, my 10 year old had gone off to her own little party so I had to leave to go pick her up and I grabbed my my bags and excuse myself and go to pick her up thank Stacy for being a lovely hostess and do 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 and I get a little message hey Natasha did you accidentally pick up an extra bag no you took I don't know because so, I so threw, and so doesn't have any right, gifts so they had no gifts to take home and I hadn't even I literally hadn't even been home yet like I was out in the middle like the I'm still out in the car <laughs> picking up kids and and sure enough I had clapped out somebody's <laughs> so you had gift. taken double so, gifts. yes I had taken an extra gift so I and all like and it was clear like after 10 like 10 30 by the time I even made it home you're like can I please drop this I did. off <laughs> I did get back the next day I was so embarrassed it was totally, totally did you totally have to fine. choose which one you didn't want no no okay. no okay. no it was just her bag of her favorites oh, but I'm okay. sure she wanted to like go home and play with her favorite gifts <laughs> right. and I felt so bad that I had taken an extra oh, bag but that's oh. funny yeah. I was, happened to have or attend three my favorite things parties Stacy it was so dog fun. it was really fun yeah. yeah, I think it's a fun like new little tradition. Yeah, fun gifts. Yeah. Fun I think food, I'll do it again people. next year. Yeah. So you totally should. Okay, good. I would like to come next year. If you come across anything this year that's really your favorite things, just okay. buy it already. Well, that was super Snack awesome. It. Thanks so much. We'll see you next year. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Next on Studio Chatter, we'll talk about some new oral health options. Stay with us. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. Our first guest is a dentist that believes that good oral health may be the key to whole body wellness. Let's welcome Dr. Shane Gunnarsson from Gunnarsson Dental to our table. Well, thank you very much. Welcome. I'm Hello. glad to be back. It's been a while since it I've has been. been here, and this is a lot of fun. I enjoy coming here and talking about what we do in our office. So, And where is your exciting. office, Dr. Gunnarsson? So Gunnarsson? we are in Payson, right off of Main Street, kitty corner from the, the Memorial Park. So. Okay fairly easy to get to big beautiful building yes yes beautiful thank office. you thank yep. you very much yes it's a it's a fun building and very beautiful and a lot of fun to be in so um 
Let me get into what it, what's yeah. exciting and why I wanted to be here tonight is is or t today is that um, this is really really exciting because we just recently opened up a portion of our clinic over to TMJ and sleep therapy. Mm -hmm. And I think last time I was here, we talked about sleep therapy and what we were doing there. Mm -hmm. But okay. we've expanded that to not only address sleep and helping you sleep better at night, but also in treating the jaw joint and um, and in treating facial pain, headaches, migraines, all these different yeah. things that can lead from that and feed from that. So it's it's been a lot of fun uh, with, with COVID and, and we had all that time and free time. I put in a lot of CE <laughs> yeah. to, to learn all these different things that we can do to help people. And it, it's right. I mean, when you talk about the body and the wellness and the oral health, and everything goes along with it. I and mean, when you start looking at the position of your head and your jaw joints and everything being in the right place mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and being uncomfortable, you're leaning different, your posture changes, and that leads to migraines and headaches. And so we've gotten really deep into treating a lot of people with this, and it's been fantastic. It's been a lot of fun. So I do work in the dental field. I awesome. work, we own a dental lab, and then I work for a dentist and now an oral surgeon. But I have seen it, how it ebbs and flows. People think it's a toothache. Right. And then they think, oh, do I need an appliance? And then, like, what are the steps to get someone to a place where to, they to need where something going. else? Yes. It, it really starts out, in our office we do free consultations, so it starts out with a consultation on, you know, to help them feed out where could a bus will be coming from. Is this something that we can help them with? Yeah. And, and it's, it's difficult sometimes. I mean, the mouth, you know, can have it's symptoms tricky. from different areas that lead to other areas and lead to others, and that's really where that jaw joint comes into place. If you've got clicking, popping, when you open and you close, mm -hmm. difficulty opening too wide, um, it, and a lot of discomfort and pain if you're waking up in the morning with headaches and migraines from clenching and grinding your teeth. All these things are, are, are contributed to that jaw joint and the way the nerves interact in your neck and in your shoulders and you start feeling discomfort in your shoulders, you start feeling discomfort in your neck and then you start getting these migraines mm -hmm. and a lot of times it's like right back here or right behind my eyes. And so it's really neat what we're able to do in helping people decompress that jaw joint, get it back into its correct location, making it comfortable, getting rid of the clicking and the popping all together completely, and then helping people sleep better at night because now they're out of pain, they're not waking up with migraines, and getting them to function better. Because that's really, you can't function when you're in constant discomfort right. and pain. I agree, yep. Yeah. So let me let me tell you a yeah. little bit about so what we do. I know this. this is this is <laughs> this is this is unique, and and part of it is is there is no place in Utah County that does what we do. Um, there are different ideas and concepts about treating TMJ, and I think the nearest specialist that deals with this is is all the way up in American Fork. And so my mm -hmm. idea was wow. we need to get someone more local down here, and that's where I invested the time to learn about all of this. But this is an MLS laser, okay. and what's really neat about it is people often hear the term laser and they think cutting and shooting, you know, Star Wars sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. But this is a fantastic technology. Um, we're able to use the MLS laser, and this is the handpiece here, and so we gently go across tissues like this, and it's, and it's called a cold laser because it doesn't cut, it doesn't heat up. It can get slightly warm, but that's all it does. Mm -hmm. It penetrates about two inches into the tissues, into the muscle tissues, oh. breaks up, knots of tissue so we go through and we find those knots and we target those areas and we're able to break up those knots get the blood flowing correctly through wow. the muscle tissue get it to heal faster it increases the energy synthesis in the muscle tissue um, blood flow into that area and that also is what releases that blood flow into the into the head where you've got that migraine it releases that tension in the neck where the muscles and the nerves are all being pinched and tied together and release that area. So it's wow. it's it's really pretty cool. So when someone comes in for this, do you just do that like on their neck and shoulder area or face or where? So we do the where? face, okay. we do the, the, the head. We've used it in a, in a lot of different capacities in the office. We can treat acne, we can treat um, jaw wow. pain, muscle spasms, muscle tears, um, sprains, bruises. Uh, when you have a scar um, or you recently had surgery, we can actually get that scar tissue to heal up faster. And, and make that scar tissue go away so that you don't really see a scar. Mm. This is like a miracle. It, it is like a miracle. And what's <laughs> neat about it is this has been something that's been used by physical therapists um, and in sports therapy. You see mm -hmm. the guy who gets tackled and has a sprain, they pull him off the lines, they use this on him, and he's right back out there again because it just, I mean, literally when we use it in our office, within 20 minutes, migraines go away. Wow. It's, so it's is really this. Cool. With this process, they wouldn't need to necessarily do an appliance then. This would 
cure that well, or help with that? It helps. We, okay. we still would use an orthotic appliance to decompress that. Uh, the joint space to get the disc to go back where it belongs right. and to get things Right, because sometimes it gets like in a habit forming right. place. Right, and that's about a 12 to 15 week process okay. of getting it where to go. This just aids faster healing, gets it going where it needs to go. Interesting, yeah. I love that. It is, it is pretty cool. How would one even know if they are grinding at night? Like Usually if you're grinding at night, you're waking up with a lot of tension through your face. You can feel it through the facial muscles. You just have a lot of tension or you're waking up with a headache. Mm -hmm. Or people are telling you you're grinding your teeth at night. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. right, or your spouse. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, the, and the thing about this is, the reason why I went into this, and, and, and I'm using this in my office, I could definitely do things like Botox injections to help with migraines. Right. The fact is, I don't want to inject a lot of things into your body. I want to be very non-invasive in the treatments of what we do. And that's like using the orthotic yes. devices to treat the jaw joint instead of going in and having surgery. Um, and, and using a laser instead of, instead of using injections to get muscles to relax. Yeah, yeah. I love that concept. It is so cool. So besides this, what else do you guys offer there or doing? So that's exciting and fun. That's exciting and fun yeah. besides this? Uh -huh. besides people, the laser, I think people get jaw nervous jaw. about the dentist. <laughs> and the dentist is our friend, really. Yeah. And yeah. so capable well, of doing so many other wonderful, amazing things. But it's important to keep that good oral right. health. Right, and, and, and definitely when we're looking at the jaw joint and everything involved there, we're also looking at what dental care needs to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. and, and specifically, if you're coming to me for your, for your migraines and your headaches and, and your jaw joint issue and you've got a regular dentist, definitely go back to your regular dentist. I'm gonna be telling you, we've gotta get these things repaired first because we're looking at overall health and we're talking about nutrition and, and other things to help you have better oral health. So, cool, yeah. yeah. It's almost like a holistic approach to oral almost. health, almost. A very scientific, holistic yes. approach. I just feel like it needs to be so integrated. Right. I think sometimes mm -hmm. we just look for the medication or the yes, fix it. Yes, the quick fix Instead of saying, symptom. hey, naturally or in a yeah. less invasive way, mm -hmm. we could fix this. Definitely, and we, yeah. want to, we want to look at the whole approach, what's the cause of the issue, not just treat symptoms. Yeah. So I have a question. Is this part of your clinic covered by insurance? That that is one thing that you know medical insurance doesn't do non-invasive treatments. Mm -hmm. I, I recently had tears on my shoulder, had to have uh, either injections or surgery. Surgery is covered by my insurance. Injections aren't. I know it's, it's a frustrating it's a thing, tricky but body. when it comes down to it, I'm so glad I didn't have surgery, and I'm glad right. I just went the non-invasive right. route. I right. healed faster, and and I and I feel like that's recovery. why some people shy away from these types of things is because they have to pay out of pocket. But in the long run, oh, this long run. is your we're, we're, yes, yeah, this is your talking, cure. You're 30 years old. You can't open your mouth to eat a hamburger. You've right. got migraines. You're waking with up all day and you've got Seems five kids you've easy. got to take care of, <laughs> right. the investment for the rest of your life, I mean, that's really what you're gonna look right. at, not mm -hmm. just, this is a, a quick fix thing. Yeah. We're, we're investing okay. in your, in your So yes. from what I'm taking away from this, this is not just gonna come in once, fix all of the problems, this is going to team up with possible appliances or other things, right. and all of it will come together for And that's why we definitely do help. consultations. Yes. What can we do, what do we need to do, what's gonna be involved? Okay. And so. because I wasn't here for part one or the first time you visited with <laughs> us, so a traditional dental care, so yes. they can come in for a regular dental visit. Oh, absolutely. Okay. And yeah. then maybe get the, the next step and to, to get the We screen for this part too two. if we need okay. to. Awesome. Okay. Definitely awesome. during all of the dental exams that, that take place. And office. being in the field, I know there's not a lot of TMJ specialists around, no. and yeah. so I think you are really needed and being in, in the, the area. the oral surgeon field, yep. I go in and I visit the oral surgeon like, please, take care of these people. Yes. We don't want to do anything until it's absolutely necessary. And that's what we try and tell them. We're your yeah. last place that you should come <laughs> yep, yeah. for TMJ. Right. Yep. Well, we'll try and go to Gunnarsson, someone else. I don't think many dentists dive into something like this, so kudos to you to jump well, in. thank yeah. you. I, and needed. continue your education and right. familiarize yourself with something new. as many people as we can. The whole well, thank you. Have a better life. Love it. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Thank you. You're Thanks welcome. So much. Thanks for having me again. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Coming up on Studio Chatter, we'll look at some new workout clothing to keep you motivated. Stay with us. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. Have you ever thought that workout clothing just isn't comfortable? We have a solution for you. Please welcome Chelsea Douglas with Valor Fit to our table. Hi Chelsea. Hello, Chelsea. Hey. 
So I, you got to I ran her. into Chelsea at Pinners back in November. Mm -hmm. And when we were talking, I find out you're in Spanish work. So then we're like, yep. we've got to get you on Studio Chatter. And I'm happy to be here. So thank you. Yeah. It's so cool. Your husband works for Spanish Work City. Yep. You live right here in town. Yep. So tell us a little bit more about you. So I grew up mostly in Springville. Okay. Um, and then I moved away when I was about 17 years old and actually met my husband in Idaho Falls. Oh, really? Idaho. Wow. Uh huh. Um, and then we got married, been married for about 13 years okay. now. Okay. Oh, wow. And moved back here uh, about a year after we got married. So. Awesome. Yeah. So we then, how did this come out of yeah. all of that fun? <laughs> um, I'd wanted to buy an athletic wear company for a while. Really? Um, yeah, or make one, but I didn't even know how to start or where to start or how to manufacture anything. Um, but I wanted something that was like somewhat affordable, but still really great quality mm -hmm. that people could be proud to wear, but not be spending $150 on a pair of leggings. Because um, I don't like to Because we love our Lulus, but yes, you can yes. afford one a year, 100%. maybe. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, you can get as good a quality, not out of Lulu, like as Lulu, but not spending $150. Okay. Um, but so I started looking at random businesses on KSL with my husband. We were just like looking really? for something. Yeah, we were I, just looking I for something. I would have never thought, let's just have businesses tonight. <laughs> I know, I don't know. We always wanted something. Go ahead. <laughs> um, and then we actually found Valor on KSL and we started like trying to figure out how we could make it happen and it actually took us about a month to actually like close the deal. Okay. So um, we bought at the end of oh, August, goodness. but I, I didn't know where to start, so this is a great place to start for me. And then from here, like I have a company that helps us manufacture, helps us design okay. it, helps us do all of those things. So from here on out, I will be designing them, but with someone else helping wow. in a turn. Oh, so you, when you said August, you mean like just barely six months ago? August. Wow, yes. five months ago? Yes. Wow, yeah. well, congratulations. That's so crazy, like, get on really, KSL, just right? see a business, and then just buy it and just go for it. But there must have been yeah. a passion behind that. Yeah, I the wanted, reason why. I wanted something that people were proud to wear, but I also wanted something really inclusive. Um, so right now the line goes extra small to large, but my goal is to be adding larger sizes as I'm ordering more and designing more um, because I want all women to just feel beautiful and like starting out your fitness journey, you're not automatically you're not, fit. No, you're not going to be in a small most no, likely. No, and, no. And that's usually when you're like, I don't want to go to the gym because yeah, I can't fit into this yeah. or I don't look great in that. Exactly. And so you want something that you feel beautiful in and that makes you feel like look beautiful in it. And so I want to be inclusive with my line and so show, show people to to just go and like yeah. get healthy, you yeah. know? Have yeah. you always been into fitness? Yeah, I played sports in high school. Okay. Um, I've always loved sport, always loved athletics, yeah. And then do you have a why behind this? Yeah, it's pretty big actually. I mean, you probably hear it all the time. If your why doesn't make you cry, it's not big enough. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so my why is because we did in vitro to have our babies. Um, we have two little boys and I completely lost myself in that. And I want other women that are going through, not necessarily IVF, but like it could be IVF, it could be anything challenging um, to like focus on fitness because it will help so much mentally right. to get through all of that. Um, so I want women to be like, okay, this gear makes me feel good. I'm gonna go to the gym, which will make my mind feel oh, good. Yes. So I think that it's just like all in, wrapped up in one, I feel it like. It totally is. And I have a testimony of that with working out. I feel, totally. I work out regularly, but yeah. my weight doesn't really drop, but I feel but mentally, your mental health, oh, yeah. mentally charged. I feel like it's just, it Absolutely. does wonders for me. Totally. So it is part of taking care totally. of yourself. And if you aren't healthy, it's very difficult to take care of those around you. Yeah, absolutely. Especially when you have kids and you're a mom and you like completely lose your identity in motherhood. Yes, you um, do. 100%. And I don't think that that's necessarily always a bad thing to lose yourself, but I think it's important to make sure you take care of yourself too. I agree. Because like I think there's a negative to being too selfish and being gone mm -hmm. from your children too much, but I also think it's super important to remember who you are aside from mom, wife, or if you, whatever. Yes, whatever yeah, your roles are. I love that. Yeah. So what are some of the items that yeah. you guys sell? Yeah, so right now we have, these are all the colors 
Um, so pretty. I love mm -hmm. that palette. Thank you. Yeah. Um, the bra only comes in white, but then the leggings come in all three of these colors. Um, so we have bras, le pant leggings, this sweatshirt. So cute. And then I'm wearing a crop top um, that we had screen printed. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it as of right now. In the spring, we'll be launching a some biker so shorts cute. as well. Oh, okay. And then awesome. if someone wants to look and see what you have, mm -hmm. what are the different avenues to find you? Um, so we're on Instagram. I would say Instagram is probably the easiest place because then you can see when we do giveaways, when we okay. do or doing anything. Um, that is where I'm most prominently And what's active. your Instagram handle? It's valor underscore fit. Okay. Yep, and then that will take you to our website, take you anywhere you can shop directly from there, and it will take you to like their own checkout system. Um, so, yeah, okay. that's the best place. And to do you, since you're in Spanish Fort, do you ship from your house? Yes. Okay, so you take care of the orders and then ship them right yep. out. Okay. Yep. What if someone wanted to pick up and save on shipping? Do you allow that, or is it just um, easier to ship? It's it? easier just to okay. ship, just because I feel like meeting up with people is always hard. Yep. Yes, I agree. Um, but, I mean, random circumstances, I'm sure we can work it out. All right. Yeah. That's so fun that you're local. Yeah. And I love the high waist. That's always a win mm -hmm. for me, yep. too. It goes yep. to my belly so button. So it doesn't just squish right. me and in. I'm yep. hoping they all have the pockets where you can put your cell phone so or whatever. So we don't have pockets. Okay. Okay. So it has a pocket pockets. in the waistband, actually, oh, okay. that my phone actually fits in. Oh, so you can oh. Put at least it you have there. something to hold yep. the phone. That's always a big one. Yep, so the pocket's on the inside. And then I just can't figure out how to put a pocket on that I love. Mm. Like I have never like looked at a pair of leggings with pockets and been like that looks really sleek. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like I like the sleekness of no pockets. Yeah, which is great. And then maybe out of convenience well, then you for can't us. Be, <laughs> yes. you can't be distracted either, right? Yeah, yes, right. Yep. That. Yeah, yeah. That's when I go Sometimes to, to Costco with my phone. Then yeah, yeah. <laughs> just need a place to put it. Totally. We talked a little bit about pricing structure. So where yes. do, where do you start? So our leggings are fifty nine ninety nine. Okay. And then our sports bras are thirty nine ninety nine. Perfect. Okay. okay. Awesome. Is there anything that we left out before we? Yeah, so I also wanted to touch on the fact that a portion of all of our proceeds, actually, I will be donating to an IVF grant. Um, I hope to be doing a full cycle of IVF for somebody once a year. So wow. that's my goal. Um, obviously, that's like long term, but yes. I would love to help people have children that aren't able to do it themselves. That's so beautiful. I love giving back. Yeah, Thank I you. feel like when you do that, you're usually successful because yes, you've got a good sure. point in mind. Well, and I want like having children is like changing your whole dynamic and your whole mm -hmm. dynasty and so if you could if i can help people with that i would love it that's awesome chelsea helping them on both ends yeah, yeah. the yeah. postpartum mentally part. Yeah. and yeah. getting your children yeah. here yes. yeah well yeah. thanks for coming in and thank sharing you. your story thank you thank it's you for having to meet you yeah. we we have just a, a few uh, just a couple seconds left so before we let you go do, is there like a personal workout favorite that you have what do you love to do oh i actually oh. go to a local gym here it's called stoic okay if you oh, have yes. heard of it you'll know it you'll love it um so if you are local here in spanish work check it out because okay. they're so good Okay. Good to know. So awesome. awesome. Yeah. Thanks Thank for sharing. Thank you so much. Coming up on Studio Chatter, we'll talk about a favorite New Year's topic, resolutions. Stay with us. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. Some people love them, some hate them. What's your reaction to New Year's resolutions? Let's talk about it. This is a good topic. Not mm -hmm. that I'm ready for it, though. So you hate them? No, Dislike I, them? I, I think it's important. But I will say, like, this show always helps me think about it. But yeah. I think I've always set New Year's resolutions. Not always kept them. Okay. But I've always set them. I think that I shy away from it because it's setting myself up for failure. Oh, like that's right. the way I feel like. Like I go into it intentionally. Like, hey, I'm gonna try and do this okay. more or whatever. Okay. But I try and like, can't you just tell okay. yourself? You know, take it easy. Not too many. No, not. I think that's then. probably the better word is to be intentional and maybe set goals mm -hmm. rather than New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's easier to be in that mindset. Yeah. And with you. Uh -huh. If you set out to do something, I do it. you're diehard. Yeah. 
Like when you so when did I the vocalize photo, it, then I have to. Yeah, when you did the photo a day, you were like diehard, mm -hmm. and you, you did that it. again. I know people have asked for it. <laughs> you took a year off. I think it's only right that you do it again. It was so consuming, guys. I know. But maybe. I know producer Pete was, <laughs> I, I was just asking him today, Pete, are you going to do it again? My fans won't let me quit, he said. <laughs> I need to just be more lighthearted about it and not let it stress me, maybe. It was like and the words because just, it became like the journal maybe for me. That, maybe that's yeah. a goal, mm -hmm. to be less stressed yeah. about Only it. Only one word. Only one word. That would get it done fast. One picture. One picture with one word. Yes. Ooh. So I think it was, this is how bad I am, because okay. I can't even remember. Now, the, I can't even remember if it was last year or the year before we had picked words. Yes. So I remember my word, <laughs> but I can't remember if it was last year or the year before. And I think I chose the same word two years in a row. I, I almost feel like I did, Let's or they were I very, haven't. very close. So my word was present, and it oh. was to be more present. Yes. Okay. And I think I have done better. Like, but I don't know that it has been so at the forefront. Yeah. Mine was intentional. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. this was helpful for me. Um, I had a alarm, not, yeah, you know, when you, you can say, hey, Siri, remind mm -hmm. me at 7 a.m. So every day I wake up like 6.30 and I go into the living room and do my reading and the news and whatever to prep me for the day before I work out. Mm -hmm. And at 7 a.m., a little reminder would come up, ask the Lord what he needs from you today. Mm -hmm. Every single oh, day this year. Oh, that's a great idea. I think it was because I now really that like I'm that. saying out this out loud, it was uh -huh. because someone in our ward said it in sacrament, shepherd. Oh yeah, and to so, do it. To ask him, and so every day it was just like, and it didn't have to be long, just like, just touch base, like what am I needed? Mm -hmm. But I love the fact that you put a reminder in oh, because yeah. I think that that our lives get so busy mm -hmm. that we do. We've either got to write it down or have it just present yes. there. So it was a daily reminder. So just this week, I'm like, I need to take that reminder off because I also think after one year, it can start just getting like mundane, done, done, yeah. done. I'm going to, yeah. I need to think of something new, but I like having a reminder a in my phone. Yeah. That's a great idea. What do you think has shifted in the last two to three years, even five years. I mean, it used to be, I'm gonna lose weight. Like every, you know, you used to hear that. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. That used to be so commonplace. And I think people probably still, you know, maybe have those intentions of uh, would maybe, maybe wanna lose weight. But now maybe it's more intentional to, I wanna get more healthy. Yeah. Or I may, think a lot of it's more mental health. Yeah. Do you think that's what it is? That there's been, do you is, think there's yeah. been a shift? I think so. Now that you're like articulating it all, mm -hmm. I think mental health is definitely one. I think mental health is definitely more at the forefront. Um, and I think even having been even in the COVID mindset, I think there's even going to be another shift again because now kind of coming out of hibernation, like people have, there's an, well, even for me, I think there's even like, a new there's new intentions like what what do I want from myself or yeah you know and I think it even changes as you grow in years like oh, absolutely like mm -hmm. you know what do I what can I do in the next five years in the next 10 years and, and your bucket list changes or my children are only going to be here this many years or mm. you know the financial mm -hmm. goals the health goals all those things change so it's no, not I even think seasons of life definitely like you're wanting mm -hmm. different things. But I do think like with the COVID mindset, like I think it did change a lot of people. Some people are wanting more or less, or you know, it really like just in the workplace alone, people mm -hmm. that I've talked to, a lot of changeover and wanting to switch up careers or, you know, do oh, something absolutely. different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or knowing that they can or life is short or maybe shorter and so mm -hmm. I should do. But I also think with inflation and different things mm -hmm that's going on in our world. I wonder how that will play into effect this next year as well. I've heard a lot of talk about that. I listen to talk radio all the time and, and some news, and that's kind of been the topic of conversation moving forward, especially in Utah. Like they were saying how the um, housing market has just like right, well, right. summited to a place, but they still feel like it could go a little bit, but then what will it do to our interest rates? Because we've got to level this out yeah, somewhere along the way too. So. 
I don't know. Well, That's even, interesting to well, me. Well, even travel goals. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not what it once was either. And you can't really just go by the seat of your pants anymore. No. It's made it harder. It's definitely made yeah. it harder. I mean, I know Keith and I were even talking about, hey, maybe we just take the kids to Disneyland for Christmas. Guess what? You can't just take the kids to You've Disneyland. You've got to reserve a day. You have to reserve in advance. And you, I mean, it's, it's all very much planning. So and yeah. if you leave the country, what if you... Got Coming a back, positive yeah, test, absolutely. And then you're there for another ten days. Is that feasible in your life? Like if you left the kids, yep, for a week to go somewhere and then come Especially back with a positive out of, mm -hmm. test. Are yes. you okay to leave the kids another ten days? And if you do any research on on maybe a pandemic, you know this this will probably span over four years. So yeah. we're we're looking, you know, probably another two years until this completely yeah. runs its course. I think that New York has just placed a mandate where they mm -hmm. have to be vaccinated in order to be in the workplace. So yeah. Yeah. I'm just You're wondering how that people. fizzles yeah. out through the rest of our world. Wow. What a what a different it, it, different. it has changed. I feel like COVID has changed our world for forever in a certain mm -hmm. direction. Yes. And we probably still can't even fathom the mm -mm. ramifications. No, like the mental health and different right. things, not just mm -hmm. the travel and the COVID and the vaccines. Well, and even mentally, like some people don't do so well without people. Mm -hmm. Yes. So there, there's, there's so many different elements, yeah. and even in the school environment, mm -hmm. like how it's changed, how how behavior has affected. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you these three things. These are some questions I saw today. Um, questions to ask yourself before 2021 is over. What do I need to start doing? What do I need to stop doing? <laughs> what do I need to keep doing? And I liked the third one. What do I need to keep doing? Like, we're I'm already doing, doing something. Yeah, we're, right. What am I already doing good? And then what should I stop doing? Mm -hmm. What should I start doing? Like if those were your New Year's resolutions. I'd like that. Kind of easy, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I always love this. What's one small thing I can do to get 1% better every day? Because mm -hmm. if you That's just do 1%, yep. but you really worked in the same area, imagine next year if we were sitting at this table and you really focused on 1% of something. You need to send that to us, Stacey, yep. that whole so, little thing. So stop, start, and keep doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then improve yourself by 1%. I think that's fantastic. Doable. Mm -hmm. Yep. At least it, it sure looks doable right uh -huh. here, right And I'll now. think about doing a post today. It's just a lot of commitment, people. I know it is. It is. Good luck, Ange. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe a private account. Under. <laughs> Under commit. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up next, need a little help with your look? Stay with us for more. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. The beginning of a new year is a perfect time to do a little personal sprucing up. And we've got the place to do just that. Welcome Kylie Les Cowell from Pretty Little Lines to the table. Hello, Hi, Kylie. Kylie. Hi, how are you guys? Great. We're good. Well, how are I you? Feel, I feel like we're listening to Whitney. Your yes. sister has been on the show, which is so <laughs> great. She's fantastic. So She is. I yeah. like her. It's yeah. so great to meet the other sister. And Stace, you know yeah, Kylie. The, Kylie and Whitney lived in my old neighborhood and so my kids grew up with Whitney and Kylie and so yeah. I've known Kylie for you long, threw long a time. baby shower for me with my first kid. Oh, oh my wow. god Stacy sometimes good, I'm just good kind. woman. <laughs> she is so, kind. <laughs> no we were just talking you kind you call, you reached out to me what in November and just was asking yeah. about like how to promote your business and what yeah. whatever and I'm like let's get you on studio chatter. So you were living in Spanish Fork but you just built a home in Santa Quim. Yes. Yep. We love it down there. Good. I miss Spanish Fork. There's a lot of things right here right. in Spanish Fork. Yes. But, but you're, you're Santa Quim's nice. Yeah. It's been good for my boys to be able to play in the dirt. Yeah. And, well and yeah. having a new home for the holidays I bet that yeah. was wonderful. Oh yeah. It was awesome. So your we business you run it out of your home. Yep. I've got a okay. salon in my basement but it has a separate entrance so the kids aren't a part of the salon. <laughs> <laughs> it's protected. It's a nice notation. <laughs> yeah good exactly. So, so we keep it clean. <laughs> good. What are all the things you yes. offer? So um it's like a slew of so okay, many different hear things. It all. Um, I've got, so I do microbleeding, combo brows, um, ear piercing, and then I just added skin treatments. Um, 
and that like that's it. That's all I do. I only do those three things. But piercings, my daughter uh -huh. and I took my granddaughter to have her little ears pierced. Aww. Was it last yeah. month? Yeah, I think, I think it, it was. was just last yeah. month. Wow. <laughs> so she we cried. had died. It was so sad. <laughs> it was. And then you also, my daughter, my other daughter had a piercing up higher, right? Did you do hers? Um, or did you not? I don't know that I, Brittany. Brittany, I don't think okay. I did Brittany's so, but do you have piercing parties? Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. I love that, that your piercing oh, is becoming goodness. like I know, a thing I right know. now. It's a thing yeah, again. and like in different places yes. too. Yes. So the piercing parties are fun. The ones that I've done them the most at is salons when they do oh. like a girls' night, and so you can come and get Botox or get your hair done, and then I'll be there piercing. Oh. And so it's just like. It's just a fun spa, girls' So night. it's more of a spa, not so much as Natasha's inviting 30 people over for a piercing <laughs> party. That does happen. Else, Why not? I don't know. That totally, that totally happens. happens. Yeah, no, okay. and, and that, is, that is something that I do too. It's just, I, yeah, okay. I, I don't okay. know, it depends. So. <laughs> Is that a, like the piercing gun? And yes. it's okay. Yeah. So yeah. because you you hear all these new things about the the needle and yep. piercings or the piercing guns. So okay. It's so, a little less messy. Okay. All right. And so that's why I like the gun. Okay. <laughs> that, that's great. That's great to know. And then I feel like brows. There's mm -hmm. like this whole new world of brows. Yes. Now, I have I've always had big. <laughs> Brows. You're lucky. So and, and so this micro needling world that or not needling, um, blading. Yeah. What is it and why is it so popular? And tell us how it works. So it's a semi permanent tattoo. We're okay. literally like drawing strokes into your eyebrow mm -hmm. um, with pigment and then it's supposed to fade over time. So okay. it's not going to go as deep as a normal tattoo would, mm -hmm. um, but it will fill in your brows where there's gaps. We can kind of reshape your brows if you don't like the shape of them by creating hair-like strokes with okay. the blades. Um, and then the combo brows is when you're using, um, it's called machine shading, and you're using an actual tattooing machine, and you're shading in between those strokes to kind of give it a powder-filled look, kind of oh like. Oh my that. gosh! So real. Well, it really is an Soft. art. Yeah, yeah, and, it's fun. You're drawing on someone's face. Yes, <laughs> and, and even my ten-year-old is very concerned about what her her brows look oh, like. Oh really? Now. Yes, yes. <laughs> Mom, I need fixed here. I need this here. And I'm like, but honey, you really don't. Is that what this machine is over here? No, this okay. machine is for skin. Oh, okay. Yeah, for so skin. So piercing. Brows. Yep. Let's talk skin then. So skin. So um, this, I I feel lucky. I'm the first one in your talk to I have know, I feel, this. Should we lift it up so our viewers can yeah, see Yeah, maybe. It? Yeah. Or like it's pointing like down here, and they're going to be like, going to disconnect. Should, no, we, I don't want to disconnect. Right it's called the Tixel, which I think is a really okay. cute name. <laughs> I didn't name it. Somebody else did. All kinds of machines tonight. This is exciting. I know. Um, so it's all done really just with this handpiece. I create the settings on here depending on the person's skin color, texture, type, all of that. Okay. Um, and then depending on what they're needing. So if it's melasma, we're going to do a completely different setting than it, than it would be for acne. Um, and you can just target fine lines and wrinkles, you can just target age spots, um, and you can do it anywhere on the body, but I would say most people focus on their face and their neck, but right. we just did a lady's hands the other day because you get you get aging yeah, on your and, hands. Yes. Well, and I'm noticing like my neck is starting to feel like all wrinkled. Does it help with that? So creeping skin, okay. yes. Yep. All right. So basically, um, there's this little titanium tip on it and like, let's see if it'll let me do it. Of course, it doesn't want to work right now, but this will come out all the way. And then when it presses down on the skin, it's dehydrating the skin with all these teeny tiny little pyramids. Um, but we're not actually penetrating the skin. So you're not going to bleed, you're not going to ooze. Oh. Um, the downtime with it is almost none. You pretty much have like some redness for like four hours. Oh. And then after that, you're fine. Like, That's you can not just, bad, because I've had some other things done, and I'm like, yes. if you do it at three or four in the afternoon, you don't want to go anywhere the rest of the night. Yeah, you don't want anyone like, to see you. <laughs> can you do, like, makeup the next day and so, everything? So, 24 hours, no makeup, unless it's mineral. You can use mineral makeup after four hours. Okay. So it's oh. not a needle. It's not a and needle, it's and not it's not a laser. Heat. Okay. Um, but it's a different technology. It's, it's called 
thermomechanical technology. It's a new patented technology they've been using in Europe for the past six years. Of course, they always do it before I know. us. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but it stimulates the collagen production. And so when it dehydrates those little tiny spots on the skin, it's making a channel go to the subdermal layer that you can put product on top. And so when it those close up, you have the product stuck in those channels and so it's healing with the product so it's basically maximizing the okay. the production or sense. whatever the word is of the product um so Kylie, a lot of skin things you have to do like three to six times yeah to make it work is that is that the case with this yes i would say three to five treatments is ideal because okay. Unless you want and can do the downtime, we could turn this thing up to the same level of like a CO2 laser, which it usually like takes someone's face off oh. for a day or two. <laughs> but we don't no. want to do that. Yes. No. So if we want to go out and about, so if we want to go out and about, people. just plan on three to five treatments, okay. and it obviously that takes a little bit more time, but. So you then can use specific areas like with acne, just yes. like in the cheeks so, or something, or then do a full face. You can do, yeah, you could okay. do all of that. For me, um, if it's acne, you would you would target just those areas. Okay. Because most like acne is going to be teenagers. It's not like they need their collagen starting mm -hmm. to come back. Right. They already have right. nice tight skin and stuff. So you could just target those areas, and it really helps Does with it? their acne. Yeah. Let's say someone my age in their 50s do the whole face or just like around the eyes. I would do like, the whole face because it's going to completely change your skin texture. So when the collagen is reproducing, your your whole skin texture is basically just coming back to okay. how it used to be. So you don't want like really nice fine skin that's like soft around your eyes and then still right. dull, creepy skin. Yes, we don't need that space. We need an all over <laughs> beauty shine. So yeah. Kylie, walk us through like price points. Oh this. yeah. So um, I do packages. So you can either do it by the treatment or you can do like two treatments, three treatments okay. or more. So. Uh, a basic face treatment is 630. Okay. Um, if With you want five treatments or just one? That's just one. Okay. One and treatment. then um, the face and neck is 725. And then if you do like a package of three, it actually takes the price per treatment down yes. to 575 per okay. treatment. So if you are doing like four treatments, it's $2,300. Okay. Um, which in comparison to a laser, sometimes a simple laser treatment can be like 1600 bucks for just one. Wow, yeah, so this is a good industry. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's investing in yourself, in your face. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I and think I think with great. COVID, a lot of people stopped wearing makeup, and then mm -hmm. they saw what was underneath, and they were <laughs> and like, "Oh!" And I think oh. we all aged like about fifty years during <laughs> COVID too. Can, yes. Is it working? Like, if I have you try it on me now, yeah. is that not warmed up? Well, it was heated up, but let me come. Then everybody started going to a lot of but Zoom meetings. Like, it's not working. Uh -huh. and so I just and like it. No, this is not it's good. Not <laughs> good. Yeah, you need to start looking at those lines okay. a little bit better, paying attention more but, to myself. Yeah, if we don't have time, it's okay. Any, uh, any New Year's promotions going on? Uh, yeah, I'm doing 20% off any treatment packages from now until the 15th of January. But Okay. Perfect. Uh, wow. So, so, as well. so basically, it's like buy four, get one free. You get five treatments for the oh, price of four. That's awesome. So facials, treatments, la not laser. What is this called? Tixel. Tixel. Yeah. So what is this called? Like if <laughs> I'm like, what is this process if someone reached out to you to schedule it? I would say a Tixel treatment. Oh, OK. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. it, it's it's just different from anything for else. every yeah yeah right. for every it's person. not microneedling it's not lasers right it's, how it's can the people tixel. find you um, you can find me on Instagram it's just pretty little lines and uh, also and I know this is big, but um, Facebook oh yeah and okay that cute yeah let's sign. hold that up so. <laughs> all right I want to cover her but. We'll share oh, no, that fine. on our Instagram as well. Thanks. Thanks, lines. Kylie. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited about yeah, this. Right. So many well, different fun things yep. that I know. you sure. offer. Fun. All yeah. right. Happy New Year. Yes, Thank so you. Happy New Year. <laughs> There's more Studio Chatter coming up.
Welcome back. Our theme today has been about some personal maintenance <laughs> and upgrades. What did we learn? Personal maintenance and upgrades can be expensive a little bit, mm -hmm. but yeah. worth it in the end. And so it's choosing what you want to invest in, what's important yeah. to you. And skin, your skin, I like your face, everyone sees. Mm -hmm. So when, and when Heidi, you're young, you don't worry that much right. about it, or maybe you do. But then you kind of go through that phase. Oh, I feel no, like, like no, no, my no. skin's still great and right. I'm young. And then we start to get to this age. And then you go to the dermatologist, don't you? Just yes, go to I just went to oh, the dermatologist. <laughs> well, I did on Tuesday after I got the tooth extracted, got a little something removed off my chest, and just got word today that it was cancerous. Mm. So all these things are real. But that just goes hand in hand with all the Eight personal two. maintenance. Yes. It's, Make sure you're lot. getting to your doctor's appointments, your dentist, your doctors, your dermatologist. Yes. All Maybe that's care a good of New Year's resolution. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself so you don't have to make such huge investments right. later. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm aging myself here totally, but I come from the era when, like, I remember slathering baby oil. Yes. Crisco and laying on our roof. Yes. That's what we used to do. And did you, like, did you actually get out the foil to try and get, like, the extra... Yes. <laughs> Reflection. And the oh nurse that called me today told me this is just from years of sun exposure. And I was so like, you yeah, still I'm do the idiot. tanning bed. Are you I going did, to quit? But I looked at Bo and I was like, I'm done with that. Like that kind of scares you enough. Like, come back in two months, we're gonna reevaluate it again. Because I will have to do chemo cream and i I asked you, I'm like, so you just get a still yeah. go to the tanning bed. Like you've never had and a scare. I loved and I'm like, more no. for my mental too. Right. Like and that it's a complete, sun. I mean, it, but it's a completely new age, right? Because yeah. now that we've learned so much more, I mean, we're, we're looking at SPF now that's like 50 yeah. and above. And with all of the education, we're completely running away from the sun. Now you, now we go to the beach and you take all of, all all of that. And then mm -hmm. you're taking the hat and you're covering your ears and you're covering yes. like pretty much everything. But the thing that I, I think that I'm amazed by, um, by, by both of our guests today, um, they're bringing in, you know, all of this amazing technology. Right. So the, I mean, this right. is a really, really high end, you know, yeah. machines. Like unfathomable to our brains. Right? Yes. That, that can actually brains. like help laser off either skin, um, skin treatments to help take away the age spots or to help even that out the skin. It is crazy when you think about it. It really yeah. is. Mm -hmm. And then even some of the things that, that the dentist is able to do on the whole other end of dentistry, like not traditional dentistry, but overall yes. oral health care. Right. Like well, let's, let's wellness, help you. Like wellness, like body. Yes. Yeah. Like when you're talking about the way that your jaw is and can affect your back and your shoulders and That's you know. That's crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it really was amazing when he was going, it made so much sense to mm -hmm. me. Like why don't we connect these dots and maybe not just treat it with medicine or surgery like maybe let's get to the root of the problem. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what Dr. Gunnarsson was mm -hmm. kind of saying. Absolutely. Like there may be a better fix than doing it, you know, so right. invasively. Well, and then even with with the um, the fitness line, yes. I mean, when you when you look good, you feel good as well, right? And oh, then you get oh, treats. Oh, and then you get treats. Speaking of fitness. <laughs> So there we can go, put on honey. our stretchy pants. Yes. After we so, eat this. So, Thank but you, you know what? Thank I you. will say no. My soft food diet. Thank you. Oh, we're, we're, <laughs> yeah. we're not Ooh, quite into the Who doesn't love yet? a nice pair of stretchy pants and at a reasonable rate? Right. That's really awesome. But it and is local. true. Like, but when you look good or feel good, it does mm. make you feel better. It does. And it gets you in the right frame of mind. It does. What and is nothing this? like he was talking about with headaches or different things. I don't know. When you yeah. have like this tooth that hurt me, I could not focus on anything else. Mm -hmm. And I was at parties and I was trying so much to engage and to be present. Mm -hmm. And that was just, you know, in the back of my mind, mm -hmm. just hurting. But it's so, a good thing you got it taken care of because yes. you hear so much too that if you have infection in your mouth, it can actually like go up go into your brain, brain go to and. The, yeah. yeah, your whole body. Yeah. So yeah, when Dr. Gunnarsson's talking about like that type of pain, and you both were saying you get migraines and headaches, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. horrible. Oh, it's not fun. It yeah. is not fun. Migraines are not fun. It is. It, each guest talked about taking care of yourself. Yes. And I think that's import, important. And I did like what Chelsea had to say, that it's not about being selfish. Yes. There's a fine line yes. between taking care of yourself and over Yes, mm -hmm. caring. But, but self-care is really healthy. Working out so you mm -hmm. feel like you're 
in your good optimal human. Yes. shape to be able to move and play with your kids or grandkids or clean your house even. Right. Because all I, of well, that's important. Even, I think even you mentioned maybe even in the beginning, it's not always about the numbers or losing weight. Mm -hmm. It really is like just being able to how you mentally feel. focus sometimes and how you yeah. feel. Mm -hmm. I know that, you know, sometimes you just, you know, bust it out. If it's 10,000 steps, 5,000 steps, right. sometimes you just feel better. Well, and that's what it is. My husband yeah. was saying, geez, I just don't have the energy to go like walking or mm -hmm. work out, you know, I'm just so tired. Mm -hmm. And then he, Bo finally just said, come to the gym with me tonight, dad. And so when they came back, he's like, you're right, it gives you energy. It totally as does. As crazy as it, it is, is weird. giving it is. the energy mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. gives you more back. And so I think that's really important too. And I think that's mm -hmm. life, serving others, you get served back, loving, right. doing, you know, giving that one extra percent like you talked about, mm -hmm. like you'll get that back too 1%. in a different form. I expect 1% out of you on Instagram, Angie. <laughs> just one. <laughs> just 1%. But well, one a day. 1%. One, one <laughs> I just need 1% of your day okay. to be on your Instagram feed. Just one. And Pete, if you thank you for it. this. Yes, this is delicious. Is it, what is it, this? It's like caramel apple or something. Is it? Is it apple? No? Caramel? Hmm. Like a he creme forgot. brulee. <laughs> Like a creme brulee? Oh, okay, okay, mm. it's very good. Pumpkin-y. All right, mm -hmm. well thank you, it's very, thank very you. good. So Yummy. what, what mm. would you stop, mm. what would you start, what would you keep doing, and 1%, okay? We got it. I think that's we all, can do it. we can do it. Okay, yes. happy new year happy everyone. New year. Happy new year. Thanks for being here with us. We hope you enjoyed the program. If you learned something new today, please tell a friend about us.